Hello, today I'm showing you how to get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto in any old car. So we're using the SmartMate Pro from Bugazza.com. This unit is a great little thing and it comes with everything you need to get it installed. So let me do a tutorial and show you how. This is what you receive when you order. You get your user manual here, which goes through all the instructions and steps on what to do. This is the SmartMate itself. So enclosed in this bag, there's a sticky pad where it mounts, but we'll go through that in a second. And also in the box, we've got the off cord. This is one of the ways you can connect it to your car speakers, which I'll do a tutorial. And this is the power cable, which goes in your cigarette lighter and connects to the SmartMate. This piece here is also a spare sticky pad. Once it sticks down on your dash, it sticks really good. So this is a spare one in case you get a new car and you need to install it in your new car. This is the unit itself. It has all your inputs right here down the side. You can adjust it using that knob to tilt, angle, things like that. This red sticky pad, you remove that and then it'll stick on your dash. So I'm doing this in a Land Cruiser Prado. So I think it's gonna be best to be mounted up here on this nice flat surface and I'll be able to play my car play like that. So what you wanna do is peel off the sticky once the sticky's been removed, just find your ideal spot to place it and mount it. As you can see, I've just mounted it on my dash. I'll remove the screen protector. And here we go. So you've got tilt adjustment, however you want. Once you get it in the spot you want, so I'm just gonna get it facing me a tiny bit, and then I'm gonna tighten it using this knob at the back. So I'll do that now. Go through how to wire it up right now. First thing we'll do, we'll go back to the box and we'll connect the power cable. So this is the power cable, it's a cigarette lighter. Before I do anything else, I'm gonna plug the power cable that connects into the side of the head unit. I'll do that now. I'll just tilt it to help me a little bit and just find the type C connection and push it in there. Once you got it mounted, run your cable neatly down either side. You can either do it down the front of your Windscreen and down here and under. Just got to basically find out where your cigarette lighter is. In this car, it's right here, and this is the one we'll be using. So I'll just get the tip of the cigarette lighter and plug it in, and then it's in. So let's turn on the car and watch it power up. So the car's now powering up. As you can see, the unit has turned on. Here, this is the OS. You've got your brightness here. You can do it lower and brighter. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You can play music from a micro SD as well. And then there's an FM transmitter. And then you've also got your settings menu with all your different options. I've got an iPhone, so for this video, I'm gonna show you how CarPlay works. So we head over to this menu and you basically follow the instructions that are on the screen. It's fairly easy. I'll just go into the Bluetooth and I'll connect my phone to that right now. Android Auto is the exact same steps, just on a different phone. On your mobile device, you want to turn on your Bluetooth. And the unit should start to appear on your screen. And when it comes up on your phone, make sure it matches. And it'll give you a Bluetooth pairing request. Just tap pair. Sync your contacts if you want to do that. I don't want to do that at the moment. And it will connect. So, giving it a second. We'll go back on Apple CarPlay and the unit will connect to your screen. As you can see, CarPlay is just loaded up. It's connected to the phone. All your apps that are on your phone that are compatible with CarPlay will be displayed here. So you got Waze, Spotify, Apple Music, it'll all appear on here, Google Maps. They're all operated from the screen. Now I'm playing a song from my phone and as you might have noticed, the audio sounds pretty terrible. It's just coming out of the unit itself because I'm yet to connect it to the car speakers but I'll show you how to do that now and film a comparison for you. So the first method to connect it to your speakers is via an aux cord. Take the one that's included in the box and plug it in in the side of the unit. So I'll just do that now. Just find the hole, plug it in, clip it on and you're done. The aux input in my car is just right down here. So I'll just plug it straight in and I'll just turn on my car's native radio. Depending on your car, just navigate to AUX, turn on AUX in your car. Now the unit should be connected, so let's play the song and try again. Turn up using the volume knob on your old car.
As you can hear, it sounds great. Get it connected to your speakers via AUX. It's the best option. But if your car doesn't have an AUX, I'll show you how to connect it using the built-in FM transmitter now. But connecting to the FM transmitter is really easy. Um, I'll just exit Apple CarPlay and you just go onto FM transmitter. So make sure the AUX cord is unplugged when you do this. Turn it on. And for me, I'm just gonna leave it on this same frequency. If you hear any staticky or weird noises when you finish connecting the FM transmitter, it's because there's actually radio interference on this station. So set this station to one that has no other radio stations. Like say you've got a popular radio station on 102.3, don't set this to that same number because they'll interfere with each other. So just try to find one that's blank and that's normally in the higher frequencies. So I'm just gonna leave it here for the minute and we'll see how it goes. Navigate to the radio in your car. So for me, I'll go on here, I'll go FM, and I'll just tune the frequency now to match the one that's on the screen. As you can see, it's changing. I'm just tuning it in my car to match the same frequency. So I can hear there's no interference, so nothing's using that station yet. So now when I try to play a song from the head unit, it should come out of the car that way. Let's give that a try. Back on CarPlay, I'm playing the same song. Let's see how it sounds. It took his person, it was this. Don't make it worse. So, as you can see, there's no AUX cable plugged in. It's just purely the FM transmitter. And it still sounds really good. As you can tell, it sounds great both ways. That's basically everything there is to do with this unit. If you have any other questions, put it down in the comments and I'll do a video on everyone's queries. That's all I can think to explain. They're a great product. Road trips with your friends and family is so much fun. You get navigation in your car, on your screen. It's easy to see where you're going. There's hands-free phone calls. You can see text messages. You got Suri, Google Maps. This is a great experience. You save heaps of money. An install of CarPlay here could cost anywhere between $500 to $1,000 plus. And these units sell for $200 Australian dollars, which is about 135 USD at the time of recording this, about 110 pounds. It's a great product. They ship globally for free. It's a great thing to use if you don't have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto in your car from factory. Thanks for watching, guys.